okay with UV head coach Becky Berg after obviously a disappointing loss in the MAC championship to Kent State. Coach, obviously not the result that you wanted, but what do you take away from the run that your group made to get to this point this year? Yeah, I don't want the result of today to take away from anything that we did this entire season or here in Cleveland. I just think it was an incredible few days for us. We played some really good basketball, just unfortunately not a, not enough good minutes today. But it wasn't an effort you know, issue. It wasn't the fact that, that we didn't go out and battle and play our butts off. Um, Kansas State's a really good team. It's, it's a hard matchup for us, and credit to them. But... You know, we're not we're not hanging our heads by any means to, to make the jump that we did in year two and be playing for a MAC championship is 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 almost unheard of. So I'm incredibly proud of, of this team and optimistic about the future moving forward. Speaking of the future, you only graduate and lose Rana Al Husseini and Kiara Johnson, obviously not to take away from what they were able to do for you this year. But the fact is, you're only losing two players. Uh, what does that say about the future for this team and for your young players this year to get that experience in year one or so early on in their careers to play for a MAC title game? What does that, that do for their careers? Yeah, I think moving forward, obviously losing KJ and Rena Hurts in, in a lot of different areas, and they meant a lot to our team, but those are just needs that we fill in recruiting. And every year in recruiting, the goal is to level up and get better. You know, you, you want to be recruiting every year at the same positions, better players. That's the goal, and you know, until you achieve what you want to achieve, which is standing on those that, la that ladder out there. But um, our players like Kirsten and Lex and Paula and Hattie to get this experience and Chella Watson and have this core coming back next year, I think the future is really bright, and we're really excited. How big is it to get Chella back for another year next year? It's huge. It's everything. Um, you know, she's she's hung with me at a couple different stops now. We're going to finish finish this thing together, and she's going to graduate. I'm super proud of her, and she's just got a lot to prove again next year, I think. What, for you personally, are some of your biggest takeaways from year two as head coach of this team? Um, I think just me just continuing. I'm, I'm still a very young head coach, just continuing to mature and grow in my coaching and how I coach certain teams and every team just has such a new identity and a new um, you know love language if you will and so I, I just learning how to coach this team this year and seeing it evolve and translate was really really cool and I'm going to continue to do that moving forward in my career and continue to get better and surround myself by people um, that make me better. Head coach Becky Burke as the Bulls make this incredible run to the MAC title game in just year two under Becky Burke. Back to you.